everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you some project shares from the Scrap Diva Designs June 2024 release. You can find these die sets at scrapdivadesigns.com and get a 10% discount using the code PRISGEMIC10. All the details will be listed in the description box below. Let's get started. So first we have these party words. They're very beautiful and I love the sizes and it has many different fonts and styles to them and many different word options here. And I just love the colors that I've used and the gold um, glitter paper on top of it. It looks just super beautiful. I love this color combo and it has um, let's see here a party hooray celebrate happy day happy hooray birthday and party as well as make a wish which I put on to this um, another um, project here that is um, part of the June release called the Star Slimline card here. Isn't it so awesome? I backed it up with some foam here and it just looks so amazing with this whole theme about making a wish and uh, I put a star uh, rainbow bright here with this uh, little um, character that she's holding and as well um, we see here the fringe star bundle it comes in a large medium and small it looks super awesome going with the rainbow bright theme again I use these colored rainbow and um, so I just I just thought this is just so awesome with this um, theme about this party but you could also have this make a wish which is like um, just so cute looking so that's the slimline star slimline card with the fringe star bundle and these party words and this um, Star Slimline card is about, let's see here. I think these are all in centimeters. So nine about, let's see here, eight, about eight centimeters by 18 um, centimeters in height. Super pretty. And next up, we have this Party Hat mini album. Look how cute this is. I added some crepe, crepe, crepe paper, crepe paper here. And also this, um, these little fringes here. I followed the tutorial from Jen Cassell. Um, I'll try to link where um, you could get the tutorial from. It's just so super cute with this fringe here. And also the, it comes with this face. It's so cute. And this border of this part here for the album, you can um, put, put uh, binder rings in these holes. And so it's super cute. And uh, you could put these party words on here, like uh, happy day. It just looks so awesome. Next up, we have these fringe birthday balloons. Isn't this so cute? I've put some gold wiring as the string so that you could like hold it like this. Like, you know, this is so neat. And you can transfer it onto anything like your, like uh, the slimline card backdrop as well. Isn't this awesome? 
It's so awesome, these fringe balloons. So I did different patterns for these fringe balloons. This one's going horizontally, and then this one's going crisscross. And the one at the back here is uh, actually going like, um, like a arrow kind of thing. And it just keeps on going down, if you could see like that. And uh, these flowers and leaves are from my stash. Just thought it was, and I, I drew in the faces here. And then I added a little ribbon here to give it some accent. And let's see what's up, what other things I made in the June release, uh, quite a bit. I really love the Speech Chair mini album. And um, I'm going to have a tutorial for this. I'm not quite sure when, but I've got all the materials ready. So um, Betty was asking for a tutorial for this. So I'm, I'm making one. So um, these, I just thought the Speech Chair was perfect for the SpongeBob theme because uh, they actually are like in a scene I've seen like they actually are in a beach chair underwater. So I thought this was like really cool. And I have this embossing folder that's like wood grain. I'm not quite sure if you can see it here, but it has a wood grain on this pattern here. And I've added some of these kind of um, not quite sure what you call these again some um, gem dots or something that's clear so it looks like bubbles it's just so super cool and these uh, coral leaves and el and uh, seaweed is from my stash it's just this whole theme is like so neat and I backed it up on foam as you can see here super cute just loving this. I was like enjoying the beach chair with uh, Patrick Star here. SpongeBob and Patrick Star. So cute. So, this is the beach chair mini album. And it comes with this word, enjoy. So, super cute. As you can see. Next, we have these honeycomb slimline card. So uh, I made this one first. So this is the ver uh, version one of the honeycomb slimline card. This is from my stash here. And all of these decorations are on from my stash. And this is the part of the honeycomb that we're looking at here. It's super cute. And then when you open it up, I also used it for inside the card. And you can put like message cards in here. This one says, thank you so very much. And this other one says, happy birthday. And you can write a message at the back or you can put a note a memo note inside as well so um yeah it's super neat what i did was i just cut off this part and then the the top part i just put it on on this side so it's really cool this slimline card is so cool so the second version is i um Melissa was like suggesting it looks like uh, chicken wire. So I was like, oh, I, I just have the perfect embellishment for the chicken wire, which is like um, this girl holding a chicken. I thought that was like a really neat idea. And um, so, um, yeah, and, and then um, I backed it up with foam here, as you can see. And it's like clear, I put it on acetate, so it's clear, so you can see behind the scene, which is like a farm here. And the theme is farm fresh. I thought that was like really neat. 
and you open it up and I also use the honeycomb pattern on the inside again with a chicken it's holding a chicken and it's behind the fence and the girls selling the eggs the hundred percent fresh eggs here and uh, it's so cute and here's the chicken behind the fence it's like a free range chicken I guess um, organic free range chicken and the chicken eggs are here in this carton and here's the farm with like greenery these are all from my the chicken is from my stash and the grass it's so cute I added uh, a removable oh I added a foam here so that it closes because I haven't really crease this um, acetate that much so it kind of pops up so that's what I did to make it like um, go down a bit but this is such a neat card I just thought this was such a neat card um, yeah and you don't need to necessarily make this uh, honeycomb slimline card like this shape I've seen other design team members they um, made it into a different shape so um yeah so it doesn't necessarily have to be rectangular it could be an octagon and um yeah it could be on many of your different projects like you could even put it on this honeycomb you know on top of here and it's see-through too so um yeah it's just so neat so many different ways you could use this honeycomb slimline card so um let's move on to the next project that i've made and i this is such a cute project here you could put so many different things in here i've discovered you could put your lip balm in here and i've found out i have um this uh essential oil roller so uh it's just so neat like could put so many different things in here so here's my essential roller it has gems inside here and then, and then it's a roller and um, look how beautiful this this um this box is called uh, let's see what this is this box is let's see I believe this box is called yes this box is called 3d tiny vial gift box so um yeah look how beautiful this is um this paper is uh from american crafts i believe the collection is called dream or dreamer um and the bow it comes with a bow look how beautiful i put a gem here and some more embellishments here a bow a resin bow with some gems here and some little tiny flowers it's just so pretty and just top it off with this ribbon here it's just so pretty so it's a really nice gift and very simple to make as well it comes with this border too okay let's move on to the next one this is called let's see what this one is called i believe uh, yes this one's called 3d gift box as you can see it holds so much stuff in here i made this into a fry theme box because it reminds me of um it looks like a fry and then um here's the label there's two different styles one is kind of oval with this uh scalloped edge here as well as um <clears throat> this label the circular label and these are from my stash and these uh tags are actually from the previous month's release with the the pocket uh tag dies so um yeah that's part of those and um yeah so um it's like a mcdonald's theme here that i'm 
having here and the nuggets I just love these nuggets and they all fit inside here and I made some fries and um yeah like like I'm, I'm gonna start putting stuff in this to, to show you how much you can put in there look you could even put all these cards in I'm thinking even maybe this um gift box here look how much stuff I'm I'm it's like almost the whole release is in here <laughs> except I, this chair is probably too big to get inside um and even maybe this one yeah like so much stuff you could put in here okay maybe I should put this in first Oh, this is a good idea. Okay, I think um, that's the max it could go after that. So um, yeah, th those are just some ideas. And so um, let's move on to um, the very last project that I made here. I'm still working on the A2 gift box and I've made the star nesting set and um you'll see that in the next release the july release and um it's gonna come soon the video so uh, uh stay tuned for that one and here we have the very last project is uh called let's see what this one is called this one is called um rainbow shopping bag so it's actually coming with this uh, pattern, this rainbow pattern. And I backed it up with some foam for every other line of the colors, as you can see here. And this is from my stash, this Rainbow Bright stamp is from the Sassy Club. And, um, and here you see again the party words. So uh, it's so versatile, these party words, it could be here, happy day and I made this into, I got some paper from a long time ago, um, some kind of celestial collection from Michaels from a long time ago, and I thought this was like, matches with this rainbow theme. It's like in the sky kind of thing, and it comes with this bow too. Look how pretty this bow is. Like I love this uh, lacing edge on this bow. It's so fancy. I added a gem here and there's a little astronaut kind of a uh, charm hanging off of this. And there's, um, it's really easy to put this ribbon on. So uh, what I did was I just, um, what happened is what I did was I this is how it looks and I just folded both both of these tabs down onto the front and I took a ribbon and I placed one side of it into this one hole and here's it through and then for this bow I placed a jump ring because there's a hole here already punched out um, in the die the cutting die it uh, for some reason it has this hole so I put this jump ring in and I thread through the ribbon through the jump ring and then what I did for the other side I just Put it through the other hole. <laughs> if I can get it through, uh, I'll just fold it in half. Like, so it'll be smaller so it can get through the hole. There. And pull, pull on it. And here, see? It's like hanging onto the ribbon the bow and just tie the ribbon like this. Ta-da! Isn't this so cute? 
It's so pretty. This box is, um, let's see. It's approximately 12 centimeters by nine centimeters. And the thickness depends on how um, you folded it. It's about five centimeters. And this chair, I, I'm not sure if I measured this chair. This chair is about 14 centimeters by about 12 and a half centimeters. Oh, wait, wait. I didn't um, do the legs part. It's about 14 centimeters. 14 centimeters by 14 centimeters. And this hat is, let's see, this hat is about 18 centimeters by 11, uh, wait, 18 by 14 centimeters approximately. And this box is approximately 13 centimeters by 2.5. Three, two point three to two point four centimeters. Yes, and this fry box. I'm not. I think I did measure. I'm not quite sure if I did or not. Oh, maybe not. Let me measure it. It's about. It's approximately twelve centimeters by ten centimeters. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this project share video and um, I'll link where you could get all these in the description box below. As well, I will include my discount code Pristramic10 to get 10% off. Um, and thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Toodaloo!